claimed Chu province. But what's next? Who am I to fight next? Naturally, my lord, our next opponent will be Cao Cao. Cao Cao attacked Shu province once before, in the name of avenging his father. But the fact of the matter was that, that was just an excuse. He simply wanted this land for himself. Cao Cao will try and take this land from us sooner or later. I guarantee it. Cao Cao. I understand he has the Emperor under his control. His is the fastest rising star in all the land. I am also concerned about the young Sun Tzu, who has taken over for his father, Sun Jiang. He quickly overran Jiang Dong, and is now being referred to as the Little Conqueror. I think he would be a good choice for you to test your might against. Hmm. We owe Cao Cao for what happened in Yan province. He will be crushed beyond all recognition. And as for Sun Tzu, calling himself the Little Conqueror, I will show him who's boss. With my intellect and the strength of so many mighty warriors, defeat is unthinkable. Come, come, let us ascend to the staircase to the ultimate dominion over this land. After rescuing the Emperor from Shun An, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Xu Cheng. His control of the revered Emperor of the long reigning Han Dynasty gives him a certain prestige. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself Emperor basing his claim on the imperial seal he had taken from the late Sun Zhang. He claims to be the true leader and calls on all faithful lords to support him. However, this gives Yuan Shao the perfect excuse against him. Shao proclaims Xu a traitor and begins his own campaign against him. We have Shu province. Cao Cao is next. I'm going to attack Yan province. Prepare yourselves for battle. Please, my lord, wait just a minute. The time is not yet ripe. Cao Cao has grown much stronger since you last faced him. We must find a way to develop our own strength to match him. Strength? I have enough strength for all of us. You just need to prepare a battle for me. Stop wasting your time offering your worthless opinions. Have you forgotten Cao Cao's mercilessness in Yan province? If you go to war with him, he will cheat, connive, and scheme so that he does not have to face you directly. That is the kind of man Cao Cao is. In order to overcome his dastardly schemes, we must form an army of our own that has enough might to nullify anything he can come up with. Chen Gong, I hear you placed Liu Bei in Xiao Pei without my permission. Until now, I have done just as you have suggested, but you have the temerity to try and tell me what to do, and you go behind my back. I do not serve at your pleasure. Shu province is not your land. Do not have ideas above your station. Father, please, calm yourself. Master Lu Bu, I agree that Cao Cao is our sworn enemy, but I am also concerned about the movements of Yuan Shu. He seems to covet Shu province and is making the necessary military preparations to invade it. Hmm. A battle against one so pathetic will provide me with no satisfaction. 
But if he dares to stand before me, I will not disappoint him. He will regret ever setting foot in Shu province. Master Zhang Liao says, Yu and Shu is who we must be particularly wary of. We must keep a very sharp eye on him, I believe. Yuan Shu has launched his invasion on Shu province. It appears that he has attacked Master Liu Bei and Xiao Pei. Curse that Yuan Shu! He knows he can't beat me, so he goes after Liu Bei. I despise those who pick on the weak. He will pay for that. Master Lu Bu, it would be most unwise to wage war against you and Shu at the moment. You do not want us to fight him? But why not? We may have claimed Shu province, but our military firepower is no match for Cao Cao's. If our army is forced to endure a battle against you and Shu now, then we will be left vulnerable to an attack from Cao Cao. It will be Yan province all over again. Then what do you suggest I do? What we need to do, I believe, is mediate in the conflict between Master Liu Bei and Yu and Shu. That will ensure the safety of Shu province, while our army will remain fully rested and ready to face Cao Cao at any time. Mediate? You mean it will be our job to stop them from fighting? Do you think we're capable of doing such a thing? With the power and prestige of Master Lubu, I do. I think it would be quicker to simply crush you and Shu. But if you insist... Come! Let us put an end to this petty squabble. I'm supposed to act as a mediator here? Can't I just crush these bugs? Pathetic. I will end this. You and Shu's forces are almost at Shopee already. That's probably a good place to start rescuing our allies in danger. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. What can I get for you? Please come again.
Time to take the attack to the enemy. Forward! to defend this area. Leave this battle in your capable hands, Master Lubu. Report! Lord Jung Shun and the others in the advance guard have been wiped out! What's that? <laughs> then who's going to take down Liu Bei for me? Anybody 
provide me with a decent challenge. Nobody can stop me! Fine work! You're not too shabby! Incredible! I am truly impressed by your skill. Huh? Lupu's forces are helping us? Just what's he up to? will go down in legend. Huh? <laughs> 
Anybody provide me with a decent challenge? I knew it. Nobody can stand against the might of Master Lubu. this area. Huh? <laughs> 
can stand against the might of Master Lulu. 